Hey, what is up? So, it's finally here. Total War Warhammer 2. It's amazing. It's great. So, let's dive right on we in. Must oh. world. These are all the races, huh? Alright, so on this episode, it's just going to be uh, an introductory type of thing. So, I'm just going to read off all the things so that you can familiarize yourself without having to read it yourself. Great, right? Great. So, High Elves. This is Tyrion. Tyrion. <laughs> I'm sure I'm butchering that. Uh, race attributes. Intrigue. Influence can be spent on superior lords or used to affect diplomacy between factions. Espionage. Trade agreements allow line of sight to, at, to assets controlled by the trade partner. Martial prowess. Superior uh, coordination in melee combat when high elves enter battle at full strength. Mm. So his, his initial challenge is easy. Faction effects. Recruitment duration minus one turn for infantry and cavalry units. Minimum one. Lord effects. Upkeep minus 35% for spearmen, archers, and silver helm units. Lord's army. What do we got here? Additional starting units. Only two, huh? Hmm. Eagle claw bolt thrower. Field artillery. Armor piercing missiles. Multi-shot ammunition. Seems pretty cool. High Elves Chief Artillery Piece can mow down infantry and pierce giants' hearts. Sweet. Flame Spear Phoenix. Is it for Spire? Hmm. Well, Pure Airborne Majesty. It brings fire and death as it swoops down over enemy lines. Ooh, armor piercing rebirth. When death is imminent, this unit has a chance of regaining some of its health. Oh, nice. This unit has magical attacks and becomes stronger when the winds of magic are in full gale. Death from above. Mm hmm, it's pretty strong. All right. So let's move on to. There is no limit to oh my boy, Tesslis. <laughs> oh, I'm butchering that so bad. Teclis, Tesslis. Uh, oh, the Lord's campaign does not contain any introductory content. Oh, we recommend that you choose a Lord with introductory content for your first campaign. Thank you for uh, telling me that. I fight for the. Oh, so they both have the same. Nor of course, they're of both high ups. All right, initial challenge. Hard. Faction effects. Diplomatic relations plus 10 with men and high elves. Hero recruit rank plus 5 for mages. Lord effects. Winds of magic power reserve plus 30. Bound spell. Fireball. Hmm, <laughs> like drink. Sword masters of Hoth. Hoth? Armored. Armor piercing, anti infantry, deflect shots. Deflect shots? The art of deflecting arrows with a great sword is painful to learn. Such training it is discouraged by blade lord officers, but no true sword master will let caution best his pride. Sweet. Ho? <laughs> Ford Steel cries out as it as its wielders lunge into battle, cutting down foe after foe with their great swords. Wow. Ooh. They have shields, but they're great swords. Oh, it must be because of this deflecting shots or something. Maybe, I don't know. And then we have Frostheart Phoenix. Armored, armor piercing, magical aura, attuned to magic. Uh, sweet, sweet magical aura. This unit is surrounded by one of one or more magical auras that either support nearby friends or harm its foes. Cool, cool. The touch of an aged phoenix is enough to freeze a warrior to death. When ridden, they are nigh on, on unstoppable. Ooh. It's only one of them, huh? 
Interesting. Mm. Oh, they have more stuff. It's probably because I am Tyrion. There is no the limit to my power. Hard. <gasps> the long awaited lizard men. <clears throat> Lord Mazdamundi. Sweet belly tat, man. I don't think those are tattoos. They should be, though. <laughs> Alright, race attributes. Geomantic web. Settlements are linked by a network which boosts the power of commandments. Special spawnings. Peri periodic missions allow access to powerful blessed variants of certain units. Beasts suitable for every task. Though some are so ferocious they may lose control and charge ahead. Interesting. I hope that uh, the volume is good on your end. I tried messing uh, with the audio and I didn't really test it out. So this is kind of just a, a swing and hopefully not a miss with the audio. Initial challenge. Easy. Wait, what? Hexolot. Hexol. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hexolatl. Hexolatl. Oh, that's their clan name. This world. We can achieve much. Faction name, I mean. Okay. Faction effects. Diplomatic relations minus 10 for most factions. Construction costs minus 50 for star chamber buildings. I don't even know what that is. Right cost minus 30%. Slan mage priest. Capacity plus one. Lord effects upkeep minus 50% for temple guard units. Lord's army only. <gasps> temple guards, halibird infantry, the lizard men elite charge to defend their sacred grounds. Gower, skewering. Interlopers at the end of their halibirds. What do they got? What do they got? Armored and shielded armor and piercing charge defense against large bows predatory senses these units are natural hunters that can sense prey hiding nearby oh so it's gonna be really tough to uh, hide in the bushes with these guys interesting tough guys too and then we have bastiladon bastiladon solar engine Armored, armored, piercing melee causes terror. Beam of Chotek. An intense, white hot shaft of light <laughs> emanates forth, burning and blinding the foe with the wrath of Chotek himself. Cool, cool. The solar engine can disin disintegrate enemies with a beam of pure sunlight. Only one of them. Ooh, wow. Ooh. We already know. A ton of health. Wow. Whoa! That's crazy! Ten thousand five hundred. How much do they no have? Limit to my power. Oh, it's not I fight for the greater good. Uh, oh, okay. Oh there. They got crazy health. Right, this guy. Wait. Covered everything here, right? Mm-hmm. I think so. Sweet. Now we have Croc. Gar. Last defenders. This is the same. Initial challenge is normal. Nice. I like normal. Upkeep. Minus 10% for all units. Lord effects. Leadership plus 10. Lord's army. Upkeep. Minus 50% for Saurus and Cold Ones units. Lord's army. Armor. Plus 20 for Stagadon. Bastiladon. Pterodon. And Carnosaur units. Lord's Army. I'm butchering those names. Leadership plus 10 for Stagadon, Bastaladon, Pterodon, and Kasurodon units. Don? Kasurodon units. Lord's Army. Ambush success plus 25%. What do you got? What do you got? Feral Stagadon. Monster. These mighty savages are armored and are armed and armored by design. Whoa. Be tied any being who encroaches on their territory. Only one of them? Lots of health. Come on. There we go. 
Armored, Armored Piercing causes Terror Rampage. Ooh, when this unit gets hurt and enemies are nearby, it might go on a rampage, attacking the closest enemy and ignoring any orders given. So this is the first negative effect I've seen with any of them. Oh, it's got a crap ton of health or armor. Lots of health. It's like a lord. Uh, Crox Egors, armored, armor piercing, predatory senses, uh, primal instincts. Up, up, there. You go. The perfect shock troop smashes into enemy lines, devastating their confidence by inflicting many casualties. Sweet, sixteen of them. By the way, I'm playing on ultra graphics. Uh, so I guess this is as hot. Uh, highest amount of troops you can have in your game. This guy's cool. I think I might want to play with this on the next video. This is the Dark Elves. Malekith. Race attributes. Black arcs. Powerful naval unit. Naval? Units that can replenish forces, recruit new units and forces, and bombard battles within range. Slaves provide a bonus to provisional economies at the cost of reduced public order. Murderous prowess. Dark elves receive the favor of Cain in the form of increased combat performance should they kill enough enemies in battle. What's this? Should I click this? Oh, it's this thing. Okay. I don't, I don't want to go through that. Nagar... Nagarond. Nagarond. It's the faction, huh? Normal challenge? Okay, okay. I, I like, I'm digging that. A lot of negatives. Malekith gives a percentage of XP earned to other lords. Oh. Diplomatic relations plus 30 with... Cult of Pleasure. <laughs> I like that. Increased chance of loyalty loss for lords of higher rank than Malakir. Loyalty? Plus two for new recruits. Loyalty? This is going to be interesting to explore. I wonder what that's all about. Can you... Uh... Like... Hmm. Can you... Cause other lords from other factions to join? In this? That'd be interesting. Mm, Lord effects upkeep minus fifty percent for a black guard or of Nag Nagarund dread spears, black swords, and dark shard units. Now what do we got for units? Starting with Black Guard of Nagarund. The Witch King is defended at uh, Halibird Point from those who would do him harm. Imagine such a thing. Hmm, it's got some sweet stuff. I completely forgot to look at this stuff. Uh. Or I guess it's... Uh. There we go. This is kind of sick. Uh, charge, defense against large foes, anti-large, armor piercing, armored. Sweet stats. Murderous palace. This thing is sweet. Look at that. Look at those effects. I'm liking that. Reaper Bolt Thrower, Field Artillery, Armor Piercing Missiles, Multi-Shot Ammunition. Four of them, huh? Got the sweet effects. I cannot run. Yeah. Siege Attacker. Shot. Their bolts strike with such force that, should their targets survive, they are unfit to live even as slaves. Oh. More, Morathi, Morathi. Initial challenge, heart. Oh, this is a cult of pleasure. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Faction effects: spread chaos, corruption, diplomatic relations plus twenty with dark elves. Hero action costs minus fifty percent. I like that. Lord effects on turn start. Lords in this character's region have a chance to gain loyalty local region chaos corruption plus one all characters 
War Hydra, a furious battlefield force, savage in combat and notoriously difficult to kill. Yeah, that's a lot of health. Fiery breath. Another takes its place. Replenishes hit points. Oh. Regeneration. Mmm. Weakness to fire, though. Causes terror. Causes fear. Siege attacker. Missile resistance. Regeneration. Yep. Scaly skin. Causes terror. Fiery breath. Very nice. Harpies. Very fast. Vanguard deployment. With savage claws and malicious temperament. To rip through enemies with grim delight. What do we got here? Vanguard, that's it? Hmm. Her starting units aren't so great. I mean, I like the Hydra, but not so much this. And on hard, they could have done a little bit better. And the time oh, to my Skaven. <laughs> Queek Head Taker. Race Attributes. Skaven Underworld. Sediments appear to be ruins and must be scouted to reveal any Skaven presence. Food. Maintain food supplies to gain growth and other bonuses and to avoid starvation penalties. Skaven Corruption is a detriment to local public order, but allows you to spawn additional units of clan rats to fight in local battles. Initial challenge is hard. Clan Moors. Traction effects. Quick Headtaker steals a percentage of XP earned by other lords. Nice. Loyalty minus two for Gracier recruits. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lord effects. May they attack plus 10 when fighting against dwarves and greenskin tribes. Huh. Weapon strength plus 10% when fighting against dwarf and greenskin tribes. Huh. Upkeep minus 50% for storm, vermin, and clan rat units. Lord's army. Army ability number of units plus 2 for the menace below. War... Warfare Thrower. Warp Fire Thrower. <laughs> Flamethrower Infantry. Warp Stone Fire Blit. Belches forth, reducing targets to nothing more than bubbling crusted blasts. 32. Er. Speed. Nice. Hi. Okay. Damage Dealer. Anti Infantry. Warp. Fire. Some sweet stuff. This guy's got a lot of units. Armor piercing frenzy. Yeah, let's see what's this. Siege attacker. Cause fear. Hide. Scurry away. And frenzy. Uh, patchwork creations of pure brawn and unthinking rage. They charge with the desire only to destroy. Rat ogres. Okay. Storm vermin. Halibird. Halibird infantry. Recognizably dark furred. The Skaven military elite fight with a proud zeal unique to their class. Stay away. Strength in numbers. Hide. Charge defense versus large. Armored, pier armored armor piercing. Anti large charge defense versus large foes. Sixty. Okay. This guy's got a lot of stuff. And last but not least, Lord Skrulk. Clan Pestilence. Normal. Uh huh. Faction effects. Construction cost minus fifty percent for Pox Cauldron. Uh, pestilent Nave and Plague Bailey buildings. Right cost, minus 75% for the Pestilent Sheen. Scheme. I thought that was the end for some reason. Scheme. Lord effects, upkeep, minus 50% for Plague Monks. Plague Monk Sensor Bearers? 
Plague Claw, Catapult, and Plague Priest units. Lord's Army. Skaven Corruption plus 3 local pro profits. Additional starting units. Plague Monk. Sensor Bearers. Plague Sensor. Armor Piercing. Damage Dealer. Frenzy. Uh, warp Stone Dust and Vile Contagion. Spill this Diabolical Sensor. Ex exposure to which does horrendous things to bodies and minds alike. Half Mad. Swinging their sensors violently and damaging... Oh, and damning all those nearby to a pestilent demise. Armor is not the great. Fancy, scurry away. Strength numbers. Resistance. Uh huh. Contaminated. This is okay. And then we have uh, Plague Claw Catapult. The greatest way to deliver Toxic Scourge is to hurl it at the enemy from a very safe distance. Cannot run. Siege Attacker. Okay. Four of them. Plague Claw Conta Contagion. Armor Piercing Missiles. Infantry. Anti-infantry. Uh -huh. Plague Monks Dual Sword Infantry. Anti-infantry damage dealer frenzy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Physical resistance. Uh-huh. Feeling no pain, they throw themselves into battle, paying little heed to what awaits them. Alright. <clears throat> We must you know what I didn't do is look at this stuff for these guys. I'm just gonna hover through it. You guys can read this. Pause it. Wake of fire. Rebirth. Actually, I'll just read it. <laughs> Attune to magic. Causes terror. Causes fear. Fire resistance plus 50%. I like that. We can achieve much together. Mushroom prowess. Gun. Causes fear, causes terror, attuned to magic, and blizzard aura. Mm. Causes fear, assistance, siege attacker, causes fear, causes terror, rampage. This guy, siege attacker, causes fear. Huh? Primal instincts. I think that's everybody now. <clears throat> Alright, so that's uh, gonna be it for this episode. I'm gonna hmm, figure out who to pick on the next episode. But this is just uh, an introductory thing. Just to you know, inform you on all of what they now. can do we must for you. There is no limit to my power. <sighs> but anyway, that's it. Episode 2, we'll start the campaign with one of these guys. I don't know which one yet, but uh, I'll probably upload them both on the same day. So you don't have to, like, wait. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Lacey Barnes. Take care of yourselves. See you in the next one. Bye.